on May 11th meeting uh, 2020 of the Crew Town Council of Order. Uh, we stand with me in the prayer. Father in heaven, we seek your blessing as we continue the business of the town. We've just passed the 75th anniversary of the end of the Second World War. We wish to remember all those from crew who served and sacrificed, many of whom did not come home, many of whom came home with wounds unseen. We want to thank uh, you for providing for us during the COVID-19 epidemic. We seek your blessings as we move forward. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Join us in the pledge. The pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States, States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Calendar. You have the minutes for March 9, 2020, the regular meeting, the April 9, 2020 budget work session, the April 16, 2020 work session. You have the bill sheets and the additions for April and May. Matters on the consent calendar are considered routine and will be approved by one motion. Any item can be removed from the calendar at the request of a member of council and may be voted on separately. What is the pleasure of council? Make a motion to accept it with the additions. Second. All right. Mr. Knight, make the motion. Do we want to make the correction on Billy being present on March 9th? <laughs> we need to make a, yeah. Do we need to make that correction? You, you corrected it. We corrected it. Now. Okay. I, I, I was wondering least. if I was losing my mind. <laughs> You've lost that a long time ago. Okay, we have a motion by Mr. Knight, a second by Mr. Pasinski. Any further discussion? Hearing nine, all the favor say aye. 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 Next we have a public hearing for the FY21 budget. Mr. Thrower. Uh, yes, I'm from Mayor Council. I'm just going to give you a very, very brief summary of the budget. Um, town Council's FY21 general fund budget totals $2,170,876. <clears throat> includes the $0.23 cent per pack cigarette tax increase. The cigarette tax will be $0.50 cent per pack, uh, effective July 1st, 2020. In terms of the water fund budget, uh, your FY21 water fund budget totals $1,096,000. Sewer fund budget totals $2,210,307. And the cemetery fund budget totals a whopping $5,000. And I did, would like to note that uh, I did not receive any comments from citizens prior to the meeting on the proposed budget. Uh, I will point out once again, you chose not to fund a police officer. And I know that we have a lot of people coming to council to fund an additional police officer. So, I mean, I, I don't know. I uh, mm -hmm. personally believe that we have deputies on duty. We probably wouldn't need that. That was when there was a lot of crime happening. Obviously, we've got this guy out here now, mm -hmm. but, um, you know, it, it's, I think with scheduling. Well, we still have two officers on duty at night, correct? Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. They make some names out. Okay, good. With that in mind, it was a pleasure. Well, yes. no action required. No action required, required at this point because we have no time. Well, we brought up the next meeting and we'll see you with the next meeting. All right. Just a, uh, I'm sorry, a quick question about the, uh, the budget. Um, none of the uh, reserve funds have changed, correct? We still have the uh, derelict building reserve fund and all the other reserve funds. Okay. We did have to pull some money out of that line item for the current year to reduce that down. No, that's fine. But, but I know in, uh, in past years for the uh, uh, derelict building, excess funding was rolled over into that fund. Has the Lux still showed up yet? Not, not yet. Okay. It was about this time that it shows up, I think. If I'm not mistaken. All right. Uh, any questions on the budget? Okay. Yeah, on the mayor's report. I have nothing formal to report. Uh, uh, I didn't write anything up. But I have been uh, touching base with uh, the county uh, fairly uh, two or three times a week normally just checking on the, the PPE situation, the COVID-19 thing. Uh, trying to make
make sure what I'm doing due diligence uh, as a man. Uh, but I talked to Ronnie Lawrence and John Prosay generally. Um, and uh, right now, according to them, they get a, a social, the emergency services are getting everything they requested. So they, they've got enough stuff, PPE, and uh, Johnny Shoot even told me, he said, he said, if I run out, I know where to get more. You know, so they're, they're talking to each other. There's coordination and communication going on. Uh, I reached out to all of the ministers in the town of Crow and uh, spoke with almost all of them, and maybe one or two I missed. Uh, and uh, their congregations are not really having any issues, uh, believe it or not. They, they have all adapted to doing their services online and doing the parking lot uh, piece. Uh, nobody, they don't have anybody that's we fall into that category of suffering because I, again, doing trying to do due diligence, I wanted to make sure that you know that there was something that we needed to do. We were doing it, uh, but uh, there was uh, one or two issues uh, that one of them had with some congregants, but it really had nothing to do with COVID-19. It was it was more cabin fever on one of them, but it was an individual who already had depression issues, so it was a lot of things. But, um, we, uh, I thought about doing the day of prayer, and uh, I went ahead and just did it other than trying to call everybody. I paid for that, uh, and I uh, coordinated with the other mayors, and we did it in our mayor hats and our, our leadership hats, rather than, than trying to call council together and have a vote and all that about it. But uh, we felt like it was something that needed to be done, and uh, remind people that we're very fortunate, uh, even though we have COVID-19 in this area, we are very, very fortunate. It could be much worse uh, for us. Uh, other than that, I don't have any anything uh, to add. Uh, once you have any questions about it. Uh, As you reflect on what you were saying and talking to the ministers, mm -hmm. our church uses got a benevolent fund and generally our, the phones at least get three, four plus phone calls a day. Ever since the stuff has had stuff, ever since that stimulus check has really worked. Well, it has. It has. And um, um, but there's a lot to be said for that. Um, uh, the other piece is that people aren't getting out to spend money. And, and when they're staying home, they're saving money or they're spending it on essential items rather than lottery tickets. The FedEx that they normally. Oh, no, they're still buying lottery tickets. They're still buying lottery tickets. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, yes. Uh, okay. Are you more, more or less? More. Really? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean. Oh, God, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Wow. Yeah, alcohol, lottery tickets. Mm -hmm. um, I, I will state this. Um, there was a law go into effect for those slot machines. Mm -hmm. uh, they're going to start charging July 1 a $1,200 per machine tax per month. Um, ours are gone. So, um, mm -hmm. but uh, that. I had two. But we, many months, we didn't even break even with it. But um, I know there's a business in Blackstone that does phenomenal with them. Um, like, it's like a regular old casino. We can't, we can't tax that, though. That's not a locality taxable thing. Okay. No, no. What about that? Yeah. All right. So, um, yeah. Anything else? But, um, but, yeah, that, that happened. And um, I, I will say something to the COVID-19 thing. Um, our supply chain is suffering um, because uh, no subways in the area got any mayonnaise last week. I mean, I called Farm Mill, Blackstone, everywhere. We were actually running out. I had to call um, and, and order it from one of our other suppliers. But with our subway order, half of the items that we ordered were tagged in orange, saying we may or may not get them. And uh, I do know as a guy that belongs to our club that runs a, a cleaning company, processing plant mm -hmm. uh, cleaning company. He's a supervisor. And uh, they had uh, one plant had 350 employees. They had 72 came back positive for COVID. They shut down. Uh, he's got Virginia, North Carolina processing plants, everything from dog food to Tyson to mm -hmm. Smithfield. Um, those processing plants are getting hit pretty hard because they're put in like cattle. There's no 
no space for yeah. them to yeah. get apart. So he said they've got a lot of their facilities that are shutting down for two or three weeks. Um, the cigarillos, I can't get them. Their plant has shut down there in Puerto Rico, and they've shut down due to the uh, COVID, so I can't get that. Huh? Copenhagen's all right right now. Yeah, but but there is, I mean, as far as you know, mm -hmm. food service goes, we are having issues of unavailable mm -hmm. and you know unavailable stock and everything. Okay. So. Let's go to Costa. <laughs> <laughs> Mayor, um, just on the uh, on the subject of COVID, um, I saw today that the uh, governor will be allocating. Um, money to localities, uh, so we may want to reach out to the county and see how much we can get and how we can spend it between now and December 30th. Yeah, or um, it all has to be spent for COVID-19 related expenses, but I'm sure there's ways we can thank, thank, do thank that. Thank you for the fire truck. Yeah. <laughs> <You know. laughs> okay. Good enough. Or, or move money around from, you know, shovel things. Okay. Uh, it's all fungible. With that in mind, we move to the town attorney's report. We've yes. got your report. Uh, any questions for the town attorney? And thank you all for your patience. I was outside on a Zoom meeting with another locality while they were in closed session. And thank you all for not doing Zoom meetings. It was. <laughs> Zoom meetings? Yes. They're actually. It's all I've been doing for the last six weeks. Uh, can we add to um, for two uh, two derelict buildings for um, looking into uh, the garment factory? I know that we sent information to um, one of the individuals who's a partial owner. Uh, and then the uh, the old hotel here on the uh, the corner. Um, I guess that was sold six months ago. Well, yeah. uh, was at the auction, I believe. The um, what is that doing now? Wait, yeah. they thought Bagley bought it, but uh, not Bagley. Um, Parker. The Parker girl is the one that bought. It. She lives in Virginia Beach. Yeah. Because we thought we thought Yvonne Wilson was the one that bought it. But she runs a non-profit, correct, Parker? That's what she I does. I don't know what she does. Yvonne Wilson does. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they, they work, she works out of Virginia Beach, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, well, I'm thinking about it. Did you get a chance to call the school board on that building over here? No, mm -hmm. not yet. Ain't really that's that. the one I thought. Uh, well, that's, on, that's on the list, too. So. Okay. I, know, I know there was a letter a lot sent. Of, a lot of these issues are interconnected. So once you start the ball on one, they're going to point to their neighbor, point to their neighbor, point to their neighbor. Mm -hmm. And there are other issues with grass that the town cuts that the school board owns, so it's an unraveling onion. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's why I think we need to think strategically with what we want to do ultimately with those properties. I was approached by Larry Williamson at the post office about <coughs> this building. The Nottoway building, and then I told him that it was in no worse shape than the garment factory it was in. So, <laughs> go girl. Well, I mean, they, they can point to their neighbors all they want, but at the end of the day, that doesn't excuse their own bad behavior. Um, I will say, though, that the old hotel, I, I, I think we should at least just inquire as to what her plans are for, yes. for that. The garment factory, though, I mean, we've had complaints, and apparently there's snakes, and I don't. Do that. It's, I had a complaint complain about the old drugstore today. Okay. Man said it's been living here two years or more and said they have done nothing with it and it's an eyesore for the downtown. Well, that's yeah, that's the, uh, the old hotel. Yeah. 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 Uh, somebody mentioned that to me too, talking about that they saw the pigeons coming in and out again because they did board those windows up at one point. Well, Jeremy, Jeremy had them boarded up. Yeah. Oh, and now the pigeons have, I guess they found a new way to get in and out. And, um, okay. Well, the, ho the hotel building is in that historic information. Mm -hmm. So there may be some 
Oh, Absolutely. Okay. Well, which is why for that one, I'd j just inquire as to what their plans are and how fast they can get those, uh, the um, scaffolding, the the, uh, the cones and the caution tape out of there, because that's the uh, that's the biggest concern. Yeah. Right. Right. We got to get all those. All right. Good deal. I, I will say a positive thing, though. Uh, Roger Daniel bought the old Shaba building, Good. and I've seen them doing some work there. Um, Improving that building mm -hmm. right there beside Ellington. Mm -hmm. sure. So yeah, he fixes his sign and outside of his his and building. Any yeah. questions That's for the town attorney? You want to hear from the employer? Yeah. No questions for the town attorney. We move on to committee reports. <coughs> Finance committee, Ms. Stanley. Uh, thank everyone for working on the budget. We need to have a new one. <laughs> First up, any questions, Ms. Stinson? Very good. First up, <coughs> Mr. Reed. Any questions, Mr. Reed? Very good. Do we need to develop it, Ms. Bowling? Uh, nothing. All right, any questions for Ms. Bowling? <coughs> Economic development, Mr. Miskovic? Nothing at this time. Any questions for Mr. Miskovic? <coughs> All right. We move on to new business. We have the USDA Rural Development Funding Applications for the Police Vehicle. Mr. Thrower. Uh, yes, I'm a mayor council. <coughs> As you're aware, a police car is included in your proposed 21 budget. Uh, I did recently submit a application to rural development for financial assistance to purchase that vehicle. Basically, you do have a resolution that's re required by USDA and basically grants me the authority to sign documents. And uh, in terms of public comment, the discussion of this item at tonight's meeting is advertised on the town's website. The public was provided an opportunity to submit comments and or questions on this item prior to the meeting. And no comments or questions were received, and I ask that you adopt the attached resolution. Okay. Any questions for members of council? Yeah. Are we, we still getting these two police cars that we got a grant for, correct? Correct. Yeah. And this this will be the third one, right? Right. The idea is to get them rotating them. Right. Start rotating them. Those I think should be here in August ish. August. Okay. okay. Good job. Okay. Any questions? If not, I'll entertain a motion to approve the resolution. So moved. I'll second. All right. Ms. Stinson has made the motion. Ms. Bowen has seconded. Any further discussion? All in favor? Say aye. Aye. All opposed by like sign. Motion carried. Thank you, Mr. Thank you. All right. Next item is commercial trash collection charges. Mr. Miskovic. Thank you, Mayor. I was uh, approached by a business owner, uh, Justin Dalton of A&J Produce. Um, as you know, they've been doing, uh, they've, they've had a significant increase in business uh, as a result of the, uh, the COVID-19 uh, crisis, uh, and they've been, um, well, just because of their increase in business and increase in uh, trash, uh, and they've been, um, they're, they're being charged, uh, according to the ordinance, uh, $25 for each additional uh, trip beyond there, I believe there's two, uh, three. They pick up three times a week, three times two dumpsters. Week. Okay. They have their own, and then they use gotcha. one at another business. Okay. Um, well, they're they're being charged twenty five dollars per additional trip. Um, given that they're a critical business, uh, that they're in the efforts of trying to expand into a full service grocery store. Um, and that they've gone above and beyond in, uh, in helping out the community for, uh, throughout this event, uh, the event, delivering groceries and such, uh, and having an adequate supply. I mean, we've never had, uh, shortages like you see in other places, uh, supply chain shortages and essentials. Uh, I would ask that we waive the $25, uh, the additional $25 charges, uh, since, uh, I guess when this event started, uh, until the end of uh, the COVID nineteen event for AJ Produce. Um, I asked the town manager to prepare the document. Did you see it in there? Would you be able to brief it right now? Uh, yes, um, I did. Uh, just 
put uh, some very brief information in your packet here, just to try to outline it and Council Member Mr. Vick is correct. He, he is doing additional business, which is great. I mean, it's fantastic. It's fantastic for him. It's fantastic for the town. Everybody wins. Um, and he does have one dumpster that he uses. Um, is that his dumpster? The town owns it, or is it his dumpster? Is that, that's his dumpster. One of them is. They get uh, the Exxon, I believe, took their dumpster away today. And they're going to a different way of doing things. But uh, I think he has been using Exxon's dumpster as well. Oh, Exxon's Ellington. 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 That's Perks corner right there. Yes, Perks, isn't it? That's why I saw the trash. Right. Mm -hmm. Perks. Um, and, and it is correct, in the, in the town code there is a $25 fee for each additional pickup beyond the regularly scheduled route. Um, so, I, you know, my way of thinking, one, it's in the code, I don't have the authority to waive that only, only you, Mr. Council. And he's not, um, this in the economic hardship, he's actually doing more business as a result of this increased business. So he's, like I said, getting more revenue, the town's getting more revenue, everybody wins. Um, he's, he's got increased economic activity. So I, I think the right thing to do is to continue charging the fee. I, and I believe you would be setting a bad precedent if you start going down this road of waiving fees. Does, um, it, does another element to this uh, it suggest that one of the requirements for the cardboard boxes is you're supposed to cut them up? Right, and you put them in there, and you get more in there, and you cut them up. And um, did he agree to cut them up, or they're—I mean, they're not cutting them up, are they? Um, not break them down. No. I I spoke to Justin as well. He approached me um, with it, and I told him I would uh, also speak up for him. I mean, I I respect him, and for what he's done for the community, um, I did take him, you know, a box cutter and say, look, you just cut these down because I I see both sides. Okay, I see his need, he's got to have somewhere to put his trash. But I also don't think that the town employees need to be picking this stuff up, 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 up off of the ground either. Um, I think if he's doing the extra business, he can have somebody out there cutting the boxes up. I even told him I would furnish him a case of box cutters if he wants it. He said he'd have an employee out there all day if he did that, doing it. And I also he gives a box cutter. You take him, cut him up before I you take him out there. Come on. I yeah. offered it to him, but I also told him that we had two dumpsters, and we have two. Um, we have two pickups a week. I believe three. three we got three okay we've got two dumpsters and then you know when it they belong to us and when it comes time for the bottom to be rusting out we have to fork out the money to get CNL machine to come and pick them up and weld a new bottom in there and all that I did also tell him that he probably with his increased business needs to look into getting another dump, dumpster or mm -hmm. larger dumpster mm -hmm. Um, but I do see his point. I mean, the, the meat boxes that he does have, they're wax-coated boxes. They're kind of difficult to break down. It's not like a beer box where you can just rip, rip, fold, it's flat. You know, he do, physically has to cut them. Um, I also think if we do it for him, we'd have to do it for everybody. And I did bring that up to him as well. Um, so I'm on both sides. I'd say if we did anything, I'd say offer him like two extra pickups a week, just deliver, just empty it every day that the trash truck is out. But going two and three times a day, that's kind of that cost us a lot of labor. Mr. Reed. Well, I've been thinking about it a lot, too, because obviously he brought it up to me as well. And I'm thinking that, to me, I mean, 
he's ma making a mess. Obviously, they could probably do a better job than that. He's probably got some of the responsibility on him to get another dumpster or, or something along those lines. But I feel like $25 per pickup when they're coming two to three times a week, I mean, that's 50 maybe 75 bucks a week. That's three $400 a month. I mean, that's pretty high, I feel. So I feel like there's some kind of middle ground somewhere. Um, I know you mentioned $25 is an arbitrary number. Somebody probably just pulled that you know, out of the air. Does it really cost us that much to 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 do it? If so, then okay. But it seems kind of probably, probably yeah. He could probably buy a dumpster for cheaper than he's paying us to do the extra for pickup. I would think. But it's just um, is there any way we can get in touch with the uh, landfill and see if they or the county or whoever to see about getting one of them large containers that they have at the dump site? And see if you can get in touch with them, or we get in touch with them, and have them set one of them out there, and let him deal with the county. The county come pick it up once, twice a week, whatever it is. It's a whole lot bigger, and maybe he can rent it from them. Or That's something. a good idea. I didn't think about that. It's expensive. Well, I too want to support them. Um, however, I think we have an ordinance, so. Unless we're willing to change the ordinance, we have to enforce the ordinance. And that's my thought. I feel like maybe we relook at the ordinance I mean, versus just giving him a... There are several ordinances I think we could probably look at down the road, but I, I think it's better to change the ordinance. Um, I do have a question. Has he started using the neighboring businesses' um, containers since... Only since the COVID-19 increase in business. Before that, did everything he have fit in the... For the most part. He still had, every once in a while, he would still have some of those boxes on the ground. Mm -hmm. But it wasn't an issue until it was in. It's mostly boxes, but mainly he probably works for like the also says it's like meat and vegetable yeah. Yeah. stuff. Leading, yeah, yeah, yeah food, food stuff, food. Uh, at the end of the day, this isn't really the town's responsibility. Yes, we should do what we can to help as much as possible under the ordinance, but this is really on him. He should hire a contractor, a private contractor, haul it away, take it to the landfill himself, or just get another dumpster. Mr. Knight. Don't you remember uh, Booker's used to have uh, like a wire cage behind his building? Mm -hmm. And they broke the boxes down and put in it. They paid separate to have him hauled off. And the way I look at it, um, <clears throat> this is unacceptable, the way he's doing things. It's, it's, it's his responsibility to see, and it's not only this stuff, you know, the way he's got them crates out there, they all just throws them out there, you know, and that's, that's not real presentable for the town. And I'm kind of bending toward, I'm gonna support Brian Same thing, man. You got the code recovery. Uh, I do know when I worked here, we had people that had the trash like that. They got notices. If it, they were charged extra, if they had to pick it up. Uh, in fact, when we brought up the town picking up the trash, I know that the town, that people's houses and stuff, the trash on the ground, people had to go get it. The town would not pick it up. So, you know, I, I say get the other dumpster make some other arrangements because it's, it's a mess. Okay, so what I'm hearing is the general consensus is that uh, we approach him and have him get out of the dumpster. Uh, Mayor, I've got a few okay. points in response to some of the uh, things that were brought up. The uh, town manager brought up the uh, the increased economic activity and how that's good for both the, uh, the business and the town. I would rather see, and of course that's great for us, for everyone in the, in the short term, I would rather see us give the business the opportunity to um, use that increased economic activity and for the town to look at that in the, uh, in, in the long term. So as we know, one of our uh, biggest concerns or one of the uh, biggest concerns among uh, uh, residents is a lack of a full service grocery store. If we allow the business to keep some of its money, even though there's this increase in economic, economic activity, they could likely allot that for increasing their business in 
uh, becoming a full service grocery store, uh, which we uh, which we need. Uh, so I encourage council to look at it from a long term perspective. Um, it was mentioned that uh, you know, setting a bad precedent. I would uh, I would counter that I'm not worried about setting bad precedent during an unprecedented unprecedented uh, health uh, health crisis. So they're a business that's uh, providing a um, significant, uh, filling a significant need in the community and going above and beyond. I think that during this event and only during this event, we can uh, we can not have to worry about uh, 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 precedent because I don't think that um, hopefully we won't have another event of this uh, magnitude. Um, the uh, to the point where if. We do it for him, we have to do it for everyone. I'd be willing to absolutely do it for every grocery store that comes to the town of Crew. Um, <laughs> every grocery store or every business? Every grocery store that comes to the town of Crew. I'd have to do every business. What's the floor shops? They generate a lot of traffic. Well, sure, but they're not. Like, I would argue that they're that we can prioritize uh, businesses based on uh, community need mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. how crucial they are to economic uh, development within the well, I mean, that we, we can we, we can debate philosophy, philosophy but... Well, I mean, it just depends on where you're standing. If you own a floor shop, for example, that's the most important business in town. For you? And if, well... If you own a newspaper, that's the most important business in town. I don't know. We'd have to ask Rick Gunner which is more important, his business or the uh, or, or a grocery well, store. Let me, and it, I can, let me put it this way. When I was in the newspaper business, that was the most important business in town because that's what fed my family. I say I, I sell beer and cigarettes. And lottery tickets. Mm -hmm. So, <laughs> some people anyway, so, <laughs> um, but I mean, I, I, I get where you're coming from, and I agree with you. It's just my, my biggest standpoint is I don't think our town employees should have to pick it up. On sure. Well, look, look. Like I'm gonna finish my my monologue here, and then I'll, uh, I'll get right to that. Um, I would uh, to 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 the uh, to the vice mayor's point, and remember, I didn't have a uh, didn't have a committee report, so uh, to to the vice mayor's point that um, sure we should absolutely look at changing the ordinance, but for now, during this uh, during a declared emergency, I think that we can look at things individually, and then absolutely look at the look at the ordinance, look at how much it actually costs us to uh, to make these additional pickups, uh, things like that uh, later on down the road. So again, not worried about setting the uh, setting precedent. Um, and in terms of town responsibility, I think that is, it is the town's responsibility to uh, take a long, take a look at the, uh, the, the long term. So I would, uh, I would rec recommend uh, a motion uh, uh, that has, uh, has two components. Uh, first component is uh, retroactively waiving the fees from April 1st uh, through today. Uh, and second component is uh, waiving the fees until July 1st, uh, so long as all trash is in a receptacle and not a, a graph. Well, I would rather address it separately. Um, I, would, I would not support waiving fees from April 1st. He's already paid them, I'm sure. I don't mean to I don't think he's going to do But this is the first I would tell up for council. And uh, I'll, oh, one more question um, for the town manager. Uh, are there businesses that have been closed that generally have? Uh, trash pickup that don't have trash pickup now. I'm not sure I can. As far as dumpsters, question. correct. Uh, we would have to check on that. I don't. I don't. The know. only one okay, that I know, the only one I know that has a dumpster is Crew Floors, and they've been open. I think everything in town has been open besides probably Stylet. I mean, um, the hair places. No, no, but I'm talking with, with dumpsters. Oh yeah, they don't have. No, that's what I'm trying to say. But they still pay trash pickup for whatever kind of receptacle they have. Well, the community center cut the water off while we're closed, so we're not paying it. I mean, I would have thought businesses that truly do not have customers would think of doing those kinds of things. Yeah, we wouldn't, know, we wouldn't know if they were closed unless they reached out to us, which I don't think they normally would unless they asked that they want to be found. Mm -hmm. okay. Any further discussion? I mean, I, I'm, I don't, I I'm, would, I'm I would concerned make. because we, we're calling it, and it is, a, a 
state of emergency now. I'm not sure the state of emergency is going to go away July 1st. Mm -hmm. So it would be here through September, August, September? I think it might still be here next year in some form. Mm -hmm. So uh, as a business person, I would say that's wonderful that the business has increased that much. So I assume the profit has also increased. Amen. How about we just meet in the middle and I would make the motion that we cut the fee in half and then in the meantime we figure out how much it costs and put an accurate price on it as opposed to. Yeah, continue to pay the twenty five dollars for normal stuff and then every extra one ten bucks. All right. Right. That bothers me though, it hasn't been paid at all. It hasn't been billed. Yeah, but this oh, it hasn't been billed. Okay. I, I can't bill I don't know how much to bill them, so I haven't billed them. Yeah. All right. I, I've got a, another a, the garbage truck runs every day during the week, Monday through Friday, correct? Mm -hmm. Okay. I would uh, entertain offering him a free dump. This, to me, would meet in the middle to try to help him out and, you know, not have our guys having to pick up and shuffle through all this stuff. Is is have a delivery for him every Monday through Friday, every day of the week. And then he only pay if he has if we have to come back a second time. Do, do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah, well, who, who was it that brought up a vote to county? Stevie? Yeah, yeah. county. Or, see, yeah. That big that's, what, that's, what the, that's what this guy up the street from me did. He, he had, a, he had a matter of fact, he's got one up in there. That usually they got it from uh, the guy that run the, um, it's not, it's not uh, the waste right. management. Are you talking about best choice? No, they, they, what, was the, what was the garbage place up at Bryce? It was Arenas. Arenas. Mm -hmm. See, Arena used to you know, supply that. Well, not, I understand, not the way County's doing it now. And this guy, that, that's what this guy does. He, he sits it out there, he throws all his trash in, well, he ain't got to go back and forth to the dump. That would be the most logical thing for him to do, is sit it right there on the side. All they got to do is walk out the side door instead of running around, throw it in there. Once it's full, and it, it's not that much expensive. It's not that expensive. It'd be cheaper than what he's going to be paying us $25. I don't think it's council's we'll re responsibility to make his business decisions. No, I agree. I'm pretty sure he he can figure, he'll figure that out if, if this plan doesn't work. Give him the options. Tell them about that dumpster. So just to let you know, Tony and I have yeah. I mean, discussed this with him a couple of times. Tony has too. And last time, we talked again today, but last week we talked and he said he was going to look into hiring a private contractor. Well, that's the two. Now, I don't know how definitive that was kind of, I'm not sure how definitive looking to was, but that's what he had said at the end of the conversation. So. Well, and that's probably a wise decision. On his part. But see, a lot, a lot of the businesses in the town of Crew that had an overload of trash mm -hmm. over the years, I mean, even though they paid us the trash pickup once a month, they still had an independent dealer come in and, and, and contract and come in and pick it up. They paid extra to have it. Um, okay, I saw a CFS truck at Family Dollar today. Um, Anybody checked with Dollar General? Has Dollar General had an issue? Because I know their business has been picked up as well. I don't think they, they cut their boxes up. Great. They do. They cut their boxes. They cut them up right away because I've yeah, gone in there trying to it. find a few boxes. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it outside all the time. Yeah, but I mean, and, and I, I I talked to Justin about this, and I mean, I, I want to support him the most yeah. I can. I, I I appreciate everything he does, and I'm thankful that they're in town. And it, this is the closest, probably we're ever going to get to a grocery store. So I want to support him, um, but but I, I think that the people can do a little better with, like I'm seeing a few boxes in this pile that I know, because I've worked in grocery business too, that I know could be broken down, and it's not that difficult to break them down. And um, I mean... I, I, my my thought is offer him a delivery every day of the week, Monday through Friday, since the trucks are already out. One deliver, one dump. As long as he don't, don't have to pick up anything off the ground. Wait, let me let me explain something to you about the dump, the, about the garbage truck too. We got one garbage truck that picks up dumpsters. 
The others pick up garbage. Okay. The ones that pick up dumpsters pick up Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Okay. See what I'm saying? I get you. So if you're gonna give, you gonna what you're gonna do is. So we'll have to get that special truck out. Have to take that, 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 that truck out twice a day, and it, that's only for one person. Uh, individual, like like say for instance, you got a you know, pile of limbs in your yard, and we don't pick them all up. And you say, well, I want to move. Well, give us twenty five dollars, and then we'll come up and get the rest of them. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And that's what happens to to the citizen. Yeah. Not just business. Owners. So on. Tuesday, Thursday, if the uh, if the dumpster truck went and picked it up, it wouldn't have to go all the way to the landfill. It could just yes, sir. stay there until the next day, either uh, Wednesday or Friday. It doesn't have then, to go to the landfill the same day. No, but they say they don't want to leave stuff like that on the truck overnight. Food. Well, they, it's, food. it's a lot of this stuff that's got food in it, too. All this, this is trash. Y'all understand <laughs> that this is garbage old food and stuff make a decision and move forward we will sit here all night trying to debate what to do you got an ordinance tell the man here are your options you need to make it happen Justin's family I told him this is garbage just your business owner it's your responsibility this is the town this is the town's responsibility here's some options for you Figure it out. We sh why are, why are y'all sitting here wasting your time on this? Make a decision and move forward. Now, what sizes are the uh, are are the um, the current ones compared to the one in the in the county? Uh, our current dumpsters. It looks he's, like he's, he's got, got a smaller he's got a six, six yard. Got a six yard. Six yard. He's and got a smaller dumpster. Our our dumpsters at Crew Station. Are eight yards right. bigger than these. Eight yards, okay. And the eight yards are the um, we we talked about talking to the county about getting in one of the other ones, a, a bigger one. Uh, it's that's bigger. Up to, that's up to Justin yeah, to do that. That's yeah. Oh, okay. Well, then I I like uh, Councilwoman um, Bowen's idea on once a day pickup, and we can eat the uh, eat the extra costs. But if it's twice a day, he gets charged. Correct. I mean, but that, that's... He needs to break these boxes down, I'm sorry. I mean, he, he well, does and that's, need to break his boxes Sure, and that's a, that's a decision he can make, you know. Yeah. But yeah. Well, if we don't go along with this, is he going to move his business out of town if he's just going to close up? Yeah. It's a cost of doing business. Amen. Yep. Yeah. All right. With and that in mind, what I'm hearing uh, consensus-wise is that uh, we stick with policy as is. He has to break the boxes down, and he needs to get another dumpster. Uh, unless he wants, I guess, do we, we provide a dumpster to the town? No, uh, we don't. Town of Cruz never provided dumpsters that I'm aware of. Well, I'm going to we have, commercial. when Justin had to get his dumpster repaired, we took a dumpster that the town had sitting down at the shop, took it over to his business, and let him use it while he got his dumpster repaired. Oh, Here we are, you having a big old hissy fit, and there's a dumpster sitting down at the town shop. Yeah, but you took his dumpster out there and had it fixed, too. He took his dumpster out there and I had thought, it fixed. I thought they panicked it. All right, all right. Okay. It's freaking trash. I've got, I've got consensus unless anybody wants to make a motion. Mayor, I've got two motions. All right. Uh, and that, was, that was energetic. Uh, first motion is to um, retroactively waive uh, A&J Produce uh, extra dumpster fees from April 1st through uh, today. Um, so I make that motion. All right, we have a motion from Mr. Miskovic to retroactively waive A and J's uh, extra extra fee pickup fees extra pickup fees from one April till today. Is there a second? Is there a second? Is there a second? Hearing no second, the motion dies. Okay, Mayor, I've got a second motion. Uh, and that is to offer AJ Produce a uh, daily pickup. So that's an additional two pickups uh, per week at uh, for the um, from now until July 1, and then council can reevaluate uh, on July 1. Okay. So we have a. Motion. If they had to go back another twenty five dollars or whatever. Sure. So it's it's two additional pickups. The the 
the second right. time in that same day, then it's the, and it's the twenty-five dollar pickup fee. Correct. All right. So and that's only as long like to the July one. Okay, so we have an offer or a uh, a, a motion to offer A and J daily pickup to one July uh, at current cost, and if there's a second pickup during the day, it's twenty five dollars per policy. Any further discussion on that? Uh, and I'll, I'll also add that uh, we um, no 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 um, uh, uh, ensure that all trash is in the receptacle. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Re require that all no, trash be in the receptacle in extreme. Policy. Exactly. Right. Uh, yeah. uh, the extra pickup, he gets how many a week? Three. Two extra. Two extra, so it would be five total. Five, yes. Yes, and, and he's still at the $25 fee. No. After the two extra. How many times are they going? So basically. So you it's one a day. And then if, if they have to go back a second time in a day, it's $25. So you're right. You're, you're under this proposal. You'll be giving them yeah. two free pickups at it means fifty dollars per week. In direct disregard to the ordinance. Correct. Uh, okay. Any further discussion? Because of their able to essential well, status. No, I'm just, I just, I just saying, the ordinance what it is. It's been that way. Other people have had to do the same thing. He's doing enough business where he needs to get another dumpster pay somebody to go out there and break the boxes down and do it like he's supposed to. Mm -hmm. And that's what ought to be done. It shouldn't be up to town to do. Okay. Then I jumped the gun. We have a motion. We don't have a second. Do we have a second? I would second that one. Just so. Now we're going to do the extra. All right. And if we have a roll call vote. Mayor. Okay. Roll call. Well, any further discussion? Anybody? Okay. Roll call vote. Mr. Abel? Yes. Mr. Abel? No. Mr. Knight? No. Ms. Benson? No. Mr. Sisk? Yes. <laughs> Ms. Bowen? Yes. <laughs> uh, there you go, Reed. Mr. Reed? <laughs> yes. Right. Oh, wait, but you said reevaluate July 1, right? Yes. Right. Okay, I think, well, I guess I can't put a condition. I say yes. I, I vote yes. But I also think by July 1, we need to have the, the ordinance rewritten to reflect, you know, accurate across the board. Well, I actually think by and July 1, he should have purchased that gives us time. Or... That gives us time to reevaluate. Unfortunately, it doesn't give us enough time because we would have to have to look at the ordinance next month and then advertise for... I'd say July 1 would give him time to make other arrangements. Okay, so motion carries, four three. With that in mind, we go on to the public comment section. Any public comments? I don't have any. You did not receive any public comments. Tiffany's already been there. Okay. Uh, with that in mind, I'll entertain a motion to adjourn. So moved. Second. All right. Mr. Knight, Mr. Abel, all the favor say aye. Aye. All the favor say aye. All right.